Hey guys, my name is Marta, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about all the books I want to read to transition from my summer reading to my fall reading. This is not a very long list and I say that even though it has I think six or seven books but when it comes to TBRs I tend to put way more books than that and I know that if I make up a huge list I will end up not reading a single book in it so yeah I decided to make it not too big and I hope I can maybe introduce you to some books that you have never heard of before and that you may also want to add to your fall TBR. The first two books I have to share are two books that have something in common and it is that they have summer vibes that are also mixed with other things that we would associate with fall and the first one is Mona by Paula Oloichorak. This is an Argentinian novel about an author who has won a very important writing award and is now spending some time in Sweden, I think it is. I am not completely sure about that, but as you can see, it is, takes place during something similar to a vacation with has summer vibes and then it has some thriller mystery elements since apparently weird things start happening while he is in this retreat, I would say. I am not completely sure. I like to go into my books blind, so I do not know much about it, but I do know that this Spanish cover is gorgeous and so is the English one. And I also know that the book is supposed to be very dark and that lots of people who've read it have really, really enjoyed it as someone who is spending some time abroad before the summer is over I feel like this book is going to be my perfect companion and with all that darkness I that it's supposed to have it looks like the perfect book to transition from one season to another Next we have I have another book that I think it's also set during a vacation even though I did not know that until literally two days ago and it is The Idiot by Elif Batman. This is a book that was hyped on booktube a long time ago but that has been recently talked about since its sequel has also recently been released. It's apparently set during our main character's summer vacation during which she encounters some of her college classmates or something like that. It looks like it's a very emotional story and I have no idea what this book is about but I know that it has those college vibes and that apparently it's set during the summer as someone who starts who's soon going back to uni this book sounds like something that i would really like to read before going back to the routine so yeah super excited to finally read it it sounds like something that i could potentially really really like so i hope i do like it and speaking about university next i have some books that have some back to school university vibes and of course the first one is the very popular The Secret History by Donna Tart, a book that I have been meaning to read for the longest time and that every year I promise I will read do but never do. Um, this book I think needs no introduction but in case you have never heard of it it follows a cast of unlikable characters that are studying classics at college and that commit some sort of murder. It's supposed to be very dark academia, very dark in general, I think also pretty mysterious. So, and even though it does sound like my perfect kind of book, because I am usually intrigued by these type of things, at the same time I have a feeling that I will not like it because I read, well, tried to read The Goldfinch last year and I did not buy with it at all. So now I'm scared to read this, but hopefully this will be the year when I will finally get to it and will discover whether I like it or whether I just don't buy with Donatart stories. So yeah, The Secret History, hype it up in the comments for me. This book with back to school vibes is a modern classic and it is The Prime of Miss Young Brody by Muriel Spark. I have never read any Muriel Spark. And this one is very short and it's apparently the story of an unconventional school mistress at an old girls academy, I think. 
I don't know much about it and the description in the back is not helping. But I got this second hand, same as the idiot, something that I forgot to say, that is why I absolutely had no idea what it was about. And I haven't still read it. I think it sounds like something I would like. I've heard great things about Muriel Spark and lots of her books also sound intriguing to me. So hopefully I will read this, I will like it and I will get and read more of her books. Next I have a book that I recently discovered and that as soon as I read the description of had to purchase and it is Lucky Jim by Kingsley Amis. This is a novel published in the 50s and it tells the story of a medieval history lecturer or something like that. It's supposed to be very satirical, very funny and I know nothing else about it but something about it really appeals me. I love me a good funny story. I love a book with good humor and I love books that are set at universities. So this one looks like something that I could potentially really really like. Also I have never heard anyone mention it here on booktube so I have zero expectations going into it that are not the ones that I have set myself. So yeah, pretty intrigued to see what this story is all about and I guess I will tell you all about it once I read it. And last book with school vibes in a way is one that also has, I think, some spooky vibes even though I'm not completely sure of that and it is The Little Demon by Fyodor Sologu. This is a Russian classic about this school teacher who does dark stuff like having sexual pervert like thoughts and also thoughts of murder and all types of dark stuff you could imagine. It sounds very twisted, it sounds very funny and apparently is so according to the description. I also have heard anyone review it on book two, so the only expectations I have are the ones that I have set myself and I've owned this book for over a year now and I've been hyping it up in my head for over a year which means that I've been hyped in my head for over a year I was supposed to read it last year but never got to it and hopefully this season will be the time for me to finally do I also have not read any Russian literature in a while so this looks like a fun way to get back into that Speaking of Russian literature with the next two books, which are two that have more of some so, some sort of spooky, dark, twisted vibes, I have a short story collection that I've owned for the longest time ever, and that is supposed to be a collection of modern dark fairy tales, and it is none other than There Was Little Woman Who Tried to Kill Her Neighbor's Baby by Ludmila Petrushevskaya. This is a collection of dark fairy tales from a modern Russian author. This was hyped on booktube back when I joined this community in 2018 and I purchased it as soon as I heard about it because it sounded like my perfect kind of book. However, things seem to have gotten in the way of me actually picking up this book and I have never actually managed to pick up this book. So I think now that I am finally starting to buy with your stories, it's going to be the time for me to finally read it. It sounds like the per it used to sound like my perfect kind of book and still does. So hopefully this year will be the year when I will finally get to this dark and twisted fairy tales. And speaking of translated twisted fiction, I have Right Over the Plots of the Dead by Olga Tokarczak, a novel, one of Tokarczak's most popular novels and the book that is supposed to be the best introduction to her, a guideline I did not follow when I read the books of Jacob as my introduction to her writing style, uh, but as I did love that book, I am very excited to to get into her other stories. This is a Spanish translation since it's supposed to be some sort of weird thriller esque story in which we follow a, in an English professor or teacher 
who after a dead body has been discovered in her where he's living he starts to investigate at this and discover some weird connections between the murder and the poetry of William Blake. I am not completely sure if my scene and my idea of the synopsis is correct, but it does sound dark, twisted, and like the perfect autumn read. So yeah, super excited to read some more Tokarchak. I really enjoyed my reading experience of the books of Jacob. So I am looking forward to reading something else from her that it's not big and that I will really, really enjoy. And last, and actually least, I have a poem. And I do say least because I don't usually read poetry. And it, and it takes me a big effort to actually pick up a poetry collection. But despite that, that book and the poem, uh, the poet that I want to read something from is Emil Berharen and I am hoping to read his poetry collection, Le Village Illusoir. This is a Belgian poet from the late 19th century whose writing is in the lines of Rambots and Berlin, which means that it's very sensorial in a way and that has Autumnal vice. I don't know why, but I do associate this author with autumn. Maybe it's a cover. I am not sure, but I associate him with that season, with this season, and I studied him at uni, and I really enjoy the poems of his I got to read there. So hopefully, I will be able to read this entire collection, and hopefully one day I will get into poetry. That is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and, and comment down below if you read any of these books and if you have, what are your thoughts on them. Also, comment down below the books you are planning to read this fall or the books that you are planning to read to transition from the, your summer reading to your fall reading. And to say to my channel if you want to see more from me. And I hope you are this going amazing and I will see you in my next video. Bye!